Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Kyle and today I'm going to show you guys some tips and tricks on how to make Cush Core installs a lot easier. So Cush Core tire inserts are basically these closed cell foam inserts that go in between your tire and the rim. And what these do is they not only add puncture protection and rim protection, but they also help the tire stay on when you're cornering and basically reduce the chance of you burping your tire. So if you've heard anything about these before, it can be really hard to get these in and it kind of be a battle. So today I'm gonna to show you a few of the tips and tricks I've learned over the last couple years to make this a lot easier. So our setup today, we're gonna to be using a Stans Flow 30 millimeter internal width rim, a Schwalbe 2.6 Super Gravity tire. So this is a pretty thick casing, so I'm gonna make it a little bit harder on myself with a thicker casing. On the tool standpoint, we're gonna be using a valve core remover, some tire levers. Usually you're gonna need at least two, but I like to have three if I can. And I really like these little Schwalbe ones, believe it or not, um, because they are so small. It's really hard to poke your rim tape and cause an issue that way. I'm also gonna show you guys these Cushcore Bead Bros, which are really cool. They act as like a third or kind of fourth hand if you have two of them. It makes the install go way easier. But if you don't have access to these, you can do a little bit of a hack, which I'll show you as well. On top of that, I also really recommend using a tire sealant injector. It doesn't matter what brand. This one is from Stans and it's about $9.95. So definitely worth picking one of those up. We're gonna use this normal tire sealant from Stans and then have a couple rags. And the thing that's the most important and kind of makes this the easiest is getting a trash can that's slightly smaller than your rim or you can use like a Home Depot or five gallon bucket. I'm gonna use a trash can just gets a little bit taller and makes it easier to film, but either one works just fine. Okay, so now we got that all figured out, we're gonna start prepping the wheel and tire. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to take my tire and set it out in the sun for at least five to 10 minutes on each side. What that does is it really allows the tire to kind of soften up and become a lot more flexible and it'll make the install go a lot better. You don't necessarily need to do it on the Cush Core. Some people do, some people don't, but the tire makes a huge difference. So. I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping my wheel, get that all cleaned up and ready to install this stuff and then throw this outside and get it warming up. So now I got the wheel prepped and I got that all cleaned up. So I'm gonna go grab the tire from outside and then we'll start installing. First thing we need to do is get the cush core on. And so you're basically gonna locate your valve stem, which I have over here. And then as you can see, there's a little notch here on the cush core. I like to put that right on the valve stem. That way it just makes it a little easier for air and sealant to get everywhere it needs to go. And then you just kind of walk the cush core around. If you want to make it a little easier, setting it outside in the sun with the tire will help quite a bit with that. So once you have your cush core on the rim, then we're going to go ahead and grab the tire. This is the most common mistake, which is people putting the tire on backwards, getting through the whole install and then realizing what did I do? I put it on backwards. So what we're gonna do is really make sure that it's going the right direction. There should be an arrow on your tire or the Schwalbe tires make it easy because there's a um, colored line on the left. So just put the left on the left. <laughs> so what I'm doing here is I'm taking the tire and I'm dropping the wheel and the cush core all the way inside of the tire. Okay, so at this point, you should have a tire on here spinning around the cush core. What you wanna make sure now as well is, again, double check, make sure your tire's on the correct way. Okay, we're good. And then for the pro tip, you wanna line up your logo with the valve stem. So that's just kind of like a mechanic or bike builder tip, just makes it look good. So it doesn't matter which side we start on. Um, honestly, it really doesn't matter at all. For this one, let's start on the drive side. Just make it easy. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna start opposite of the valve stem. The valve stem is the last part you want to do because the valve stem itself sits in the rim bed or in the bead channel. And that means that the tire bead won't get in all the way. And so you always have a little bit less slack if that part is on. So I always like to do that last. That gives you the best chance of making this install easy. So I'm going to take my hands. I'm going to try to get the bead just past the cush core. So if you can see that, so here's the bead. I'm going to go past the cush core and I'm gonna pull back slightly. And then with this hand, I'm gonna support the cush core. Okay, and once you get it started, then we're gonna basically get the bead tucking underneath the cush core right there. So the goal is to do this without pushing the cush core off the rim. All right, and then you'll usually be able to get it around 
I don't know, 50, 60% of the rim before you need to do anything else. So now what we gotta be careful of is if I flip this over gently, if this portion of the cush core comes off at all and you push it off over the rim, the whole thing will undo and then you'll have to restart all over again. We gotta keep that in mind that the goal is to get this bead all the way on one side and then we'll do the other side without pushing the cush core off. Now, the reason that you have no slack anymore and it got kind of stiff here is because this part of the bead is not in the channel of the rim. So what we need to do now is start pushing the bead in. So you'll see now the bead is dropping in to the rim channel. That will give you more slack. So what you wanna to try to do is slowly go around. You can use your finger to kind of slide it. And as you can see, I just got more, but see, now the cush core popped off. So I'm actually really glad that happened because that's a really good lesson. So that is kind of the worst thing possible. If you get the tire almost all the way on, you've been fighting it and then the cush core pops off. That's what we don't want. So again, let's, let's try this again and be a little bit more patient. Notch goes there. Walk the cush core around, use your elbows to help. Boom. Okay, the tire. Okay, and then we're gonna go like this and line up the valve stem and the logo. Okay, valve stem's on that side. I'm starting away from the valve stem. Let's start by doing this. Okay, so I got that in. So as you can see, I kind of slid my thumb around it. Okay, that's pretty good. So now this is the point where we'd want to start pushing the bead in again, but here's where I get to use this cool new little tool called the bead bro. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to actually hook this in. Let's go about here. Let's see if you can see this. Okay. So bead bro there goes in. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but the bead bro is now pushing the bead in, keeping it from coming off or undoing. We're just gonna tighten that down. Now let's go on the other side. So I'm not gonna try to be really aggressive and get that part. I'm just gonna go back here a little bit. Let's see, go bead bro. Well, first I'll make sure that this is open. Okay, cool. Tighten that down again. Okay, what these bead bros act as is a third hand. Now, if you didn't have a set of these bead bros, you can actually do something similar using zip ties. And so the way you would do that is come around and try to zip tie the tire down to the rim. The only thing about this is it's a little bit more wasteful, obviously, and it doesn't work quite as well because then you end up zip tying this side, like the, the unbeaded side, but this is an option you can use. I've also seen people use tie down straps. Essentially what you wanna do is create a tight enough gap here that the bead can't come off or walk itself off like it's doing over here. So now we're going to go through and start pushing this bead into the channel. Again, supporting the cush core on the bottom side the whole way around. Let's do that all around. So I'm just really trying to make sure that the cush core is supported underneath because I don't want it to pop off again. So I just got a bunch of slack by getting the bead around. So now we're going to do it on this side as well. Try to walk it up a little bit to like save my progress. What I'm going to do is unscrew this and then slide it up probably around here. Bead bro moved up a little bit. So as you can see, it's stopping that from coming up. What's kind of funny is that this first side is actually the most delicate because you have the opportunity to push the cush core off. Once you get the, this side done and you get to flip it over to the other side, you can really muscle the tire and it's no big deal at all. Now we're just going to go back around, make sure that we have as much slack as we can get. Got that. Nice. So then once you get about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spokes. So about one quarter of the wheel left or a little bit less. Then we're gonna go ahead and bust out the tire levers. And again, like I said, these ones are the Schwalbe ones. They're really small, but I like that because you can't pinch the rim tape very easily. So now what we're gonna do is come in here, support the cush core on one side, get our tire lever in there. And then we're just gonna take little bites out of it. So take a bite there, take a bite there. Then if you can, I like to, 
basically hold the tire lever like that. I know it's kind of weird and grab my third tire lever. And then once you have three tire levers, it's like no problem at all. Then you just kind of multitask like this. And then you basically just keep doing that until it's done. Cool. So now before anything goes wrong, we're going to flip this over. And now, as you can see, the Kush core is still in there. Everything's all good. I'm going to take the bead bros off. You have served your purpose. Thank you, bead bros. I really appreciate it. So I'm not really sweating too bad aside from it's hot, but that was pretty nice and easy. Now here's an optional step you can do. If you want to make it a little easier on yourself, you can spray some soapy water kind of inside the tire and it'll help lubricate in between the Kush core and the tire. However, depending on what sealant you use, it can kind of deactivate the sealant a little bit, make it not work quite as well. So I'm personally not going to do that this time, but if you are struggling a lot and you're just getting over it, you can do some soapy water, let it sit for a few hours, let that kind of dry up a bit and then put your sealant in after. So again, if you don't have a tire sealant injector, you can pour sealant in right now. However, if something goes wrong or anything, then you're just going to have a giant mess afterwards. So I always wait until I get this all done. I air up the tire. I know it's going to be working well, and then I'll add the sealant after that way. If you have to take anything apart or anything like that, there's not sealant everywhere. Now that we have this side, we're going to go ahead and start on the opposite side of the valve stem, grab some of the tire like that. So grab, pull back and just work this until we can get it hooked under the rim. Okay, and then I'm gonna walk my way around. Okay, and then I never wanna get all the way up there. I'd rather have it stop about here because that's gonna be last always. Okay. No, oh, that's a, I need to tighten that bad boy. <laughs> okay. So like I said, on this side, you don't have to worry about pushing the Kush core off because it's contained in the tire. So you can still use bead bros if you want. I'm gonna just try to wing it right now and see how it goes. So I'm gonna push this down, slide my finger there. As you can see, that got me some more slack. Then I'll do the same thing over here. Push that down, slide my thumb around, see if I can get any more slack. Okay, I got about eight spokes left. I'm actually going to use a bead bro on this side just to make it a little easier on me. Let's go ahead and put that guy in there. Okay. Bead bro one. Might as well use it if we got it right. Cause it does actually make it quite a bit easier having these. Okay. So push center of the rim and got all that going center of the rim. Okay. Now, let's go tire lever one. I might be able to get this with just two. Okay, elbow there. Boom. Okay, got that. And then, cool. Now I can actually pull these out for real. We have a fully cush cord wheel. It's got Kush Core XC, I actually did put the tire on correctly, so that's a good thing. Um, and then there's no sealant in here currently. So now what I'm gonna do to check and make sure everything's okay is I'm actually gonna grab my air compressor and with the valve core out, I'm gonna inflate the tire and just see if everything's okay. Okay, cool. So now, as you can see, I have fully beaded and Kush Core tire. It's not leaking air. I'm gonna let all the air out and now comes the fun part. Okay, now I got my tire sealant. I still have the valve core out here. I'm gonna use my handy dandy injector. So I like to run about three ounces of sealant in my tire and this is a two ounce injector. So I'll usually do this. Make sure to wipe off any excess as it comes out. And then basically you just thread this on here and then just push it in. Since you just pushed in two ounces of air volume or sealant volume, you need to pull it out. Otherwise, when you go to unscrew this, it'll just shoot out again. And then I'm gonna grab one more ounce. 
So I'm gonna push in this last one ounce of sealant. Pull out the volume. And then I'm gonna grab this little guy, which is our valve core, and then reinstall this. Cool. We just gotta air it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this helped. Um, I know the first few times that I tried to do Kush Core, it was really difficult, but I love how it feels so much, especially the XC version. If you have any questions or comments or anything, please throw them down below. If you did get value out of this, maybe you could like and subscribe. That always helps us out a lot with our channel. And just let me know if you have any other future video ideas or requests. And yeah, talk to you guys next time. Hope you have fun riding.